If you had to remove one block from this arch to make the entire thing collapse, which block would it be? That all-important block is called... The Keystone. The term Keystone species has been used by biologists for over 40 years. But isn't it true that every species occupies an important niche in the ecosystem? And the removal of any one can have far-reaching effects on that ecosystem. So what is it then that separates a keystone species from other species? According to Payne 1995, since its introduction in 1969, the concept of keystone species has become well-established but increasingly ill-defined. The concept's potential significance to conservation biologists is that it designates species that exert influences on the associated assemblage, often including numerous indirect effects out of proportion to the keystone's abundance or biomass. As such, keystone species should be of special significance to environmental managers and policymakers. Here you can see an image of Alligator Mississippiensis, the American alligator. Is this a keystone species? Most people will tell you yes, and cite its role as a top predator as the reason. Let's go into the field to find out some more. The Florida Everglades in the wet season. Here you will find the American alligator in its natural habitat. Alligators play a crucial role in the natural water management of the Everglades. During the dry season, gators take refuge in water-filled holes. They are responsible for cleaning and maintaining these safe havens of life during the lean, dry periods. Fish, turtles and birds, along with the alligators, find the food and water they need for sustenance. Here in this diagram, you can see the significant fall in the depth of water that occurs during the dry season. And it is at this time that the alligator carries out its important function beyond its role as top predator, as it cleans and maintains these oases. And it is this role, more than any other, that earns it the title Keeper of the Everglades and certainly qualifies it as a keystone species. In the 1960s, the alligator was on the brink of extinction. Loss of habitat, poaching, and mismanagement of water threatened its survival. Reducing these threats has helped it to make a remarkable comeback as Keeper of the Everglades.